Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening for everyone. I don't know one when you're watching this video, so let me introduce myself first. My name is Felipe, I'm 18 years old, I am from Nazaré, and I started this course in 2017 in Fisk Sage, but for some reasons I need to change to Cruz das Almas. But my, this is my final project. And I'm so thankful to Fisk for everything that Fisk, the Fisk, this course, um, they proposed to me. So I evolved my English so well, my speaking and my writing. Um, I have great guidance. I appreciate all my teachers, Eliane, Renata, and Dani. Dani, keep a walk with me in these focus books. I'm so thankful for everything, for my, my parents to pay this course. Uh, I'm so glad to end the cycle and start again because we always learning. So even so, I finished this course. I finished all these books. I'm still learning English. So the support of Fisk give me give me to get me a really good guidance to I keep learning myself, improve myself, and for my life. The English is makes a big difference. So I study college, and I can, I can read articles. So programming with not need to be dependent of any stuff or translators. So I want to introduce here my final presentation. It's about Batman. Batman is a character that has a main impact in my childhood. So I appreciate so much him. And I want to share with you my perspective about this character. So, a little about Batman. So, everybody knows that he's, he's true, that his true name is Bruce Wayne. So, with uh, the age 80 years old, his parents mur are, were murdered. So, he's the first appearance of Batman he kills. Uh, occur in Detective Comics number 20, 27 in May 39. So, DC Comics, that moment is uh, in that moment that the Kate is just specialized in noir, noir stories. So, uh, with the release of first heroes like Superman, Wonder Woman, Captain America, the DC Comics need to release his, his own hero. So, um, he is Batman. So heroes in that decade uh, become very, are become was well, become very popular. Uh, the Batman has this book, the change many times with it. a lot of reboots of DC Comics, and he began the most trouble character of DC Comics because the Batman has a a dark experience when you surge when you emerge in society is a dark symbol batman his work like his thought like i work in shadows to serve the light he's the proposal of batman so it's the third new chest character of a kills uh, dc or marvel is the theory at first is tony stark and second no first black panther and second Tony Stark, Batman is the third richest character. Uh, Batman, Bruce Wayne, when he travel to become Batman, is progressing, evolving himself. He attended the AAS Six University at East, and when he joined to the League of Shadows to improve your abilities in combat to create a symbol. He want, always want to save Gotham. But he know, don't know how I can, he can do it, so he joined the League of Shadows, worked with Hazel Goose, but he left the organization because the cruelty and the Batman Bruce Wayne cannot kill somebody. But the, there he learning 127 kinds of martial arts and is considered the biggest mind of DC Comic World, one of the biggest minds. Of the second world and the best detective. Uh, 
With the new 52 of DC Comics, I think you also know the reboot of New 52. So Batman uh, gained a new interpretation. And at first is the Batman U1. And produced by Frank Miller and David. This is a new interpretation of Batman, because representing a Batman that is uh, Progrinding is a, a new vigilante that's learning how to deal with the criminals in Gotham. So, uh, sometimes the Batman is careless and naive. So, uh, he's, he's, he's becoming the foulest vigilante that he is today. And so, in this AQ, Batman is co working with Jim Gordon. Jim Gordon has the same perspective of Batman because Jim Gordon he's starting he's starting in the uh, GCPD Department of Police of Gotham City and the Batman is surgery less vigilante so Batman is a criminal in this time he's considered like a criminal other kill that's so popular and so one of the most important kills of Batman is Batman the Killing Joke the Killing Joke was produced by Alan Moore and the first time this AQ introduced the Joker, the, first, the hero history of Joker. And this AQ treats a lot of about how is the is find the line of sanity. So what a combat day can do in a life of somebody. Even so the the, the person is a centered person. And this reproduces the face of a Joker. So he has events of Trouble, trouble events and Alan Moore he wanted to write this AQ he wants to show to us how a mind of a psychopath works so this AQ has have events of riot completely damage the Joker always work to damage somebody the a psychopath they always work of this to make chaos to destroy uh, um, destroy the mind of somebody, affect in some way. So, this is the way a psychopath works. So, and the first time, the more iconic of this AQ app, because it's because the first time the Batman laughs with a Joker. If you see this picture here, the Batman is laughing, laughing with a Joker. It's the the guy strange uh, that happens with Batman since the release of AQs. And this is an aspect so is an aspect because the church, the court of laws written by Zack Snyder he talks about uh, the oranges of the the biggest one the one of the biggest villains of Gotham. The Church of Walls is a creed uh, that origins is related to since Gotham's foundation. And this arc is special because these curts are related with the murder of the parents of Bruce Wayne, the Batman. And this curt they wanna save Gotham. They say that I wanna save Gotham, but they wanna save Gotham um, with a uh, eugenism. They don't care with the poor people, they want to just destroy it all and reconstruct it of nothing. So, the Batman is a trouble for them, for their plan. So, they try to murder Bruce Wayne like they murdered their pa their, their, uh, his parents and grandfather. They try to kill grandfather, grandfather and the parents of Bruce Wayne. So Bruce Wayne, when is a when is a kid, he has some clues because when the parents of Bruce will die, he's trying to find some clues, but he's never go for anywhere. So he know a little about this skirt, but he don't have a, a conception of them. So when they show to Bruce, is a moment Bruce become become so angry because he found the true murders of his parents. The true organization behind that evil plan. So he wants to stop this organization, this fight a lot for this organization. Almost lost her life in the court, find the court. 
and this is one of the most iconic and important arcs of the Batman New 52. And this, this, this one is very strange. So, which I do is very strange. Batman who laughs. The Batman who laughs. He is uh, he ha uh, this kill. He have the same perspective of the Killing Joker. How this the fine line of sanity. So here the Batman become the true face of Joker. He's really become a Joker more crazy. And with no impact with anyone. So after Joker bombed a hospital with many kids, the Batman uh, fulfill of anger passed the line and kill Joker. So when kill Joker, Joker could uh, poison his heart, his heart with a uh, a venom, and the Batman become really crazy so he's become another person and destroy the justice league kill all the bad family and to swarm the robin in a little puppet for his self control and just talk a little about about for this and this as a point this batman who loves create a point to a new reboot of v2 the death he's considered the arc death metal and this is the point that the new 52 we suffer a reboot, the Batman who laughs, they start with this, and it's, a, it's like it's an iconic Batman, so it's very weird, the Batman become crazy, he kill, every, kill everyone, Alfred, his son, the Justice League, because he be sent and wanna see chaos. And so, one aspect I wanna talk a, a, a little, is the Batman and Joker. So how everybody can can uh, can tell uh, the relation about in, uh, with Batman between this character uh, is related a lot of dependence of Joker about Batman because Joker really loved the Batman, but a relationship with a with a past psychopath he's involved. The increase of own ego of psychopath involves satisfaction and self complacence. So the psychopath wants this satisfaction, satisfaction and self complacence because these the relations are so toxic. The psychopath thinks that they act in some way to manipulate to hurt some people they they feel pressure in this because when this when this is this he feel a uh, a love dependence so it's like a this toxic relation a love attachment so i we can say that because he loves but he want to hurt to increase his own ego so because that the joker just as satisfaction that assets fated when he do crimes or this stuff, if the Batman is, is there to stop him, he's just satisfied with that. And in Batman Dark Knight, the movie of Christopher Nolan, I think the Joker says to Batman, you complete me, this iconic phrase of Joker. So he say this to Batman, so it's, it's a love dependence. And the Batman games are so important too. The Batman games reinvented the gender of heroes, so and has a big has a big fans around the world. Is Batman games a lot of indications of game awards and a high number of sales. The Batman recreate a new arc, and so these games so they are iconic. And funny, like Batman Lego. Batman Lego is a great a great video game to play with family. And all this to tell the truth, all this are but the Batman Lego is more funny funny. The others has a dark history, but they are really great. And englobe some aspects of Batman that's so great. And so I put this here because every, much 
Many people say, who win, Iron Man or Batman? Some say, Iron Man win because the Iron Man has had the, bat, the best armors. But to tell the truth, Batman has powerful armors too. So the Batman Beyond, the Hellbat and the Batwing are the most powerful armors of Batman. So he has so much power to destroy completely, destroy completely the armors of Iron Man. So Hellbat with the this armor of metal, the Hellbat Batman could destroy Darkseid. Darkseid is the biggest villain, one of the most powerful villain of DC Comics. Darkseid destroyed the Superman many times and Batman wearing this armor could defeat Darkseid easily, very easily. Just for uh, example. So. And uh, I wanna thank for listening this one's little things uh, and aspects of Batman that I wanna bring to, to you. And I so proud to spend my time learning English in Fisk and I'm so proud of my teachers and all these people, my classmates that attend the classes with me and they could make friendships and I love so much. I really thank I'm very thankful to my teachers and my parents. So thanks for listening. And that's it for today. This is an end of a new cycle and I'm so glad.